What's up? It's your boy 50 Cent. You're now watching 4boy.com. Keep it locked right here. I appreciate it. How long, how long have you been following boxing? Because you're pretty... I've been watching boxing for a long time. I've been a big, huge fan of that. I started boxing when I was like 12 years old. I didn't get a chance to go as far as my friends did. But, you know, I get a chance to live vicariously through him when he go ahead and do the work. And, What's the parallels between uh, what you do and, and what Floyd does? Oh, what they do is you can have someone that's not actually equivalent to you be compared to you based on market. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So as soon as you leave top rank, they're going to make them their own pocket. <laughs> not necessarily go. really ready to be that, but they're going to build it. Yeah. It has to be a challenge for you, so they create someone to say it's a legitimate challenge. Would you want to be a fighter? Would you feel I am. You got to catch me outside one day when I throw that uppercut. Oh. Oh. And you, and you see that white light, and then you call the police and get a lawsuit. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. Huh? Let, let me ask you this. Is Floyd Mayweather bigger than Ali? I think he is equivalent to Ali. I think he's the Ali of our time, our generation. You know I mean, the difference is the actual messaging points. In that, in that actual period, Ali was a part of a, a movement that was a, a huge movement that, that actually socially made him so different. He, they responded to him differently because he was willing to stand up for that at that, in that actual time period. Without those actual issues going on, it's pretty tough for you to be anyone we're near in comparison to him. But to like hip hop culture is now pop culture. It's so broad yeah. that there's no no one that's not a part of the actual culture now. And if you watch how how many of the actual artists and people, how relevant he is to that. It says how big he is to the actual sport. He actually is boxing right now. If they made a movie about him, who does 50 Cent think should play Floyd Mayweather? If they made a movie about his life? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it'd be tough. Somebody has to make a transformation because they have to be all in shape and maybe it'd be you. those things. But it's a lot, of, a lot of things about him that they don't actually know. The discipline, they, but the, the process, of you having to work as hard as he's working now without any recognition, without anyone understanding it, it can actually turn into what it is now. In order to do that, you have to possess the ability to be so confident that your confidence can be mistaken for arrogance. You have an insane following. That's what they see. How, how'd you guys become friends and how was it when you first met him? We've been friends for a long time, yeah. almost 10 years, but they, like, they haven't seen me physically out. Because I'm a homebody. Yeah. So he's basically dragging me out if you see me out in, in the public. Come on, Bob. When, when he likes when I'm there, you know, I have the best intentions for him. Who gets recognized more, you or him? Depends on where we're at. It's fight time. You guys will deal with the cameras. Look how many cameras in my face right now. These are Floyd Mayweather cameras in my face. <laughs> Where'd you get this bag? 50, 50 cents. Uh, I had what, it for a long time, huh? What, what advice do you give him about dealing with friends? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's actually. When I say he has uh, okay, that's all right. the ability to do things, I don't do it at some point. He's conditioned himself not to actually respond to a person actually hating him. He already knows, even after he's he he doing the work now to stop him. When he does, you know what they're going to say? He wasn't the best coder. <laughs> Are you still working when on When he got out of the catch weight, he fight him at his comfortable weight to make sure it's the toughest fight possible. And, he, and he's giving them. He doesn't even view him as a, a, a defeated fighter. He's undefeated in Floyd's eyes because of the reasons he lost those other bouts. How do you, you still working on your music while you're here? Of course, man. Yeah. And uh, man, what, what do you got working on right now? I'm still working on the music. Now, <laughs> you got a new album? You're working with any no, artists? No, I'm going to be out July. You think you'll ever do anything out here in Las Vegas? Record out here? Yeah, see, I was thinking because uh, I could possibly open a brothel. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. Why was you so excited? I love you. I'll be the, I'll be the first guy in there. Right yeah. yeah. I, mean, yeah I was trying to move one closer. All what right. Do you, what do they call that? The bunny ranch? Yeah, the bunny ranch. Yeah, you seem to be. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, he's called the chicken ranch. Chicken hey, ranch. Hey, when, when, when you and Floyd go out to eat, who pays for dinner? Most of the time, Floyd. Yeah. 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 Floyd's a good dude. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> just, he's just thinking he wants to do it. He wants to take care of yeah. it. Take care of everybody around. Mm -hmm. hey, every 